All right. Hey, guys. It's Ian Iacocca from impressyourinterviewers.com. And I got another video training for you here. So this video training is called The Lazy Easy Way to Get a Great Job. So there's an old way of getting a job. You go to monster.com or any other career site and you submit your resume. And then you submit it a hundred more times to different jobs, whichever ones you're interested in. Step two, you wait, wait, and wait some more. Wait for that cell phone to ring or you wait for your, the email to come back, in, come back in your inbox. Or you apply online. You go to uh, Google Jobs or Apple Jobs, Microsoft Jobs, whatever, and you apply online. So directly to those companies instead of going through monster.com. Well, there's a better way. Reaching out to the recruiters directly. And remember how last time I said uh, to join LinkedIn.com? This video training is going to show you how to join LinkedIn.com and how to search for recruiters. So the interesting thing about this is that no one is doing this. You know, almost no one is, is reaching directly to recruiters. People are submitting resumes and waiting. I think my last estimate was that Google gets around 1.5 million resumes a day just sitting there in, in the stack and no one has time to go through them. Um, I heard Microsoft gets around 30,000 resumes a day as well. So I've heard interviewers say that I've interviewed with you know, if you hadn't reached out to me in the way that you did, I would have never called you back. I would have never emailed you back. These are professional uh, recruiters from huge companies. So these aren't ABC company in, you know, downtown. This is like a multi international, multi billion dollar international firm that's saying this. So they want people to do it another way. They want you to show that you're very interested in the job. Okay, so let's go to the website and let me show you some stuff. I'm gonna switch over here. There's our friendly search engine, Google. So let's do a search here. I'm gonna type in Intel Recruiter LinkedIn.com. Let's see what we find. All right, so um, I'm gonna switch over here so you can see that. And now we see that two LinkedIn results come up. Let's click them and see what happens. So this one doesn't really have an email, but I believe the other one did. So right here, we can see that this person has an email to respond to. Now, even though you're not interested in engineering, you can still email this person because she's actually a recruiter for the entire company and she will actually direct your resume in the right place. The important thing is to actually reach out to a person because then you can actually respond to them and say, hey, I, I submitted this, what do you want me to do or what do you think I should do? And they'll always be happy to point you in the right direction. I think I applied to uh, marketing one time for Intel and, um, to a, and I emailed a technical recruiter like for engineering uh, I don't know if it was her or not, but she did point my resume in the, in the right direction. She did email me back saying, thank you, uh, I've taken care of it, and you should receive a call shortly. So another thing that you can do to find recruiters to contact, uh, and so what I do actually here, let me just finish this thought, is I'd take this email address and I'd actually, I'd actually tell her, hey, um, I found your email address in LinkedIn, and I'm interested in this position. Um, here's my resume and here's my cover letter. In the next training, I'll actually show you step by step what emails I send and what have been, what emails have been successful um, in big companies. But for right now, this is mainly about LinkedIn. So, oops. So yeah, let me let me show you how to join LinkedIn. So I guess this is the home site that you guys are are seeing right now. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna say UC Davis as an example. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so you didn't even have to include that. All so you can join LinkedIn this way. You can just fill out the required information. John Doe email. Put whatever password. Put your postal code. Then you can say, you know, whatever. I'm employed, I'm not employed. Um, there's not one for... I'd suggest, however, if you, if you are unemployed, to put working independently instead of unemployed because it doesn't... When you're contacting people and they see your profile, it doesn't really look good to write looking for work or something like that. If you're a student, go with student. Obviously, if you're employed, go with employed. And so, I mean, working independently and looking for work is almost the same thing, but I'd always suggest. So then you select your industry, whatever that is. So I guess this is optional. But I think the thing here is besides this part, I think you should be as honest as possible and to um, submit as much information as possible so they know a lot about you. It doesn't really um, look good to just put uh, nothing here. So definitely do fill this out. So I can log in now. Let me try that. I'm just going to sign in. Okay, so it says confirm your email. I'll be confirming my email. I'll be right back. Okay, I received the confirmation message. And uh, I'm just going to log in here. Sign out. Sign out completely. Sign back in.